hello guys welcome back in this video we will explore the tag component from end design we will see how we can render different tags and how we can add the close icons on the tag and how we can customize these close icons and also we will see how we can customize the background color the foreground color and even the uh, the close icons how we can add the loading or the left uh, icon on these tags and how we can uh, render different tags uh, coming from an array or from the api responses so let's get started i have an empty react.js project that is using end design and right now it's showing nothing so let's go ahead and import the tag component from end design and use it so the tag and we let's give it a name tag save it and here you go the tag is shown so let's copy it and add few more tags so maybe tag 2 here you go oh let's add them in a space so that they look a little good uh, maybe with the direction of vertical and with the spacing between them maybe we can say 2 let's cut it from here and place them in the space so here you go and also we can add a close icon on each of the tag to uh, remove them from the ui so let's copy it and add a prop called closable so if it is true it will show a little cross here so that uh, those can be closed so let's name them tag 3 here you go and if you click on it the tag will be removed and uh, once uh, this close icon is clicked we will have a callback called on close and for now let's console that the tag is closed right and refresh check the console and when user click on it here, is, here you go so we have a callback when the tag is removed from the ui so that we can update our data source or the state or even we can call the uh, backend api to inform the server that this tag is removed all right okay so uh, also we can change the color of these tags so there is a prop called color so for that we have few uh, colors available from the end design and even we have some colors based on different states like whether it was an error or it's a success or it's a warning and things like that so let's use the warning color and maybe we can call it a warning right here you go uh, let's add a few more tags maybe one for you can see error here you go and color of error yep and also we can customize these uh, the cross icons as well so for that it will be close icon and here we can return any react js component so maybe we can return a button here saying maybe x here you go okay let's change its color to maybe danger and it's type to uh, we can say text so that it looks similar to this x right and now if you just click on it the tag will be removed from the ui right and also instead of these buttons we can use the uh, icons from the end design as well so let's use those maybe we can say custom remove icon right so let's remove this and uh, use the icons from uh, the end design so let's import them so import from end design icons so i have a separate video on how to use end design icons i will add this link in, in the description below also in the i icon so that you can take a look so let's import maybe the delete outlined 
and here we can say delete outlined right save it and if I refresh here you go the custom remove icon yep let's copy it and add few more tags uh, here we can say custom color tag right and instead of using the colors available from uh, the tag we can even use maybe any of the colors the custom colors yep so here you go custom color tag and even we can customize each of everything here like the background color the foreground color the icons we have uh, seen how we can customize the border and the radius each and everything right so let's copy it and we can say maybe custom tag right and instead of using the color we can say we can either add a class name here and we can uh, add the css properties there or we can use the style so let's go ahead with the style and maybe we can say background color to be red and maybe the color to be oh, let's make it uh, yellow we want to see here that that we can customize things here and maybe we can say border color to be blue there you go and maybe a border radius to be maybe 10 here you go yep so you can customize almost each, each of everything uh, on the tags right and even if here you can let's customize this this as well so we can say sorry uh, its color is also maybe white here you go and maybe a font size of 15 okay so uh, we can customize uh, the styling as well as uh, we can uh, return right now we are returning any uh, you can say only the text here we can return anything here so let's copy it and uh, add uh, a tab instead of returning this we can maybe return a button so we can return here uh, any react component so we can say button tag right here you go right of course we can uh, change the styling of this button and the tag accordingly so that it looks good yep all right so also we can add uh, the an icon on the left side as well so suppose we want to uh, show uh, that it's a loading tag maybe so maybe let's copy this tag and show a loading so there is a close icon and there is another prop called the icon that will be shown on the uh, the left side so let's maybe import it from the and design icons okay here you go custom tag maybe we can call it loading And let's remove the uh, make it not closable right okay and there's another prop called spin uh, for this icon so that it starts spinning here you go so loading 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 right and also we can uh, show the tags uh, maybe in a loop or in a, a map and uh, from a, from an array so suppose user is selecting different tags from the drop down or user is entering in the text field or maybe you can you are getting the tags from the backend api response so you can loop over them and show them so let's go ahead and uh, maybe declare a few tags so 
so I have uh, detected few tags like code, code with Amir, ReactJS, and Andy. So let's uh, map over them. Uh, let's add them in a space with the direction of horizontal and sorry and inside that let's map over the existing tags and for each of the tag uh, we need to return the and the tag uh, whose value will be the tag that is passed here yep so let's save it here you go code code with amir react.js and design okay so let's make them all of this as maybe closable here you go uh, let's add a color of maybe green yep so here you go so this is how we add different tags add uh, the close icons, customize the close icons, add the icon on the left side. Uh, instead of returning that only the tags, we can return a custom ReactJS components and add a loading, uh, show the tags in a loop, and things like that. Right? So that's it on exploring the tag components from the end design. If you have any question, please let me know in the comments below. And if you have learned something in this video, please hit like subscribe to my channel see you in the next video thank you